On the previous slide there was a special case that stated that the expected value of a sum of random variables is the sum of the expected values. That's going to be used in this particular example to find the population mean of x which has the binomial distribution with parameters n and p. Now to set this problem up I'm going to assume that x1, x2 up to xn are iid Bernoulli random variables with identical parameters p. Now iid is an abbreviation for independent and identically distributed. Using our terminology being a little bit more careful that means mutually independent and identically random variables. Each one has a Bernoulli distribution with parameter p. So since we know that the binomial distribution is the number of successes in n independent Bernoulli trials. All you have to do is add up these 0 and 1 random variables in the following fashion. x is equal to x1 plus x2 plus xn and that will give you a binomial random variable and that binomial random variable will have parameters n and p. Now at this point we can find the expected value of x as the expected value of x1 plus x2 plus xn and here is where we invoke the theorem from the previous page. The expected value of the sum is the sum of the expected values. So this is the expected value of x1 plus the expected value of x2 plus the expected value of xn. This is the expected value of a Bernoulli random variable x1. It has expected value p. This is also a Bernoulli random variable so it has expected value p. And so you are just adding up p n times and so that sum will be np. This is a much easier way to derive the mean of the binomial distribution than what we had to work with back in chapter 4 where we didn't have this nice result which is the expected value of the sum is the sum of the expected values.